up, everybody? I'm Chef Mike Jerez. And I'm John Baruti. And we are the Million, Million Dollar, Dollar Food, Food Guys. Guy. We are here today in lovely downtown Manasquan at a Blend Restaurant with my good friend, Lou Smith. He's here. Uh, he's the owner proprietor of this fantastic restaurant. He also owns the Peach Pit Cafe next door. Great place. Known Lou a long time. Uh, today's topic is uh, food habits. Good, bad, ugly, everything uh, in the food service industry. Us being in the food industry, that's what we're talking about. The reason we're here with Lou, I don't know if you're our guest or we're your guest because we're in your restaurant, but thanks mm. anyway for having us. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, thanks for having us. Beautiful um, place, by the way. Mind blown. <laughs> so Lou's, uh, Lou's no going to give us a little, a little bit of history on his eating habits and how he got to this point, very schvelt, <laughs> unlike the unschvelt. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so uh, we, we all have our eating habits, right, especially in the food industry. And um, it's not great. You know, we all have our own issues. And so, Lou, for, first I have a question. So I don't know you as well as Mike, right? Uh -huh. So what was your heaviest, dude? I was 330 pounds. Wow. Um, yeah, it wow. was a mess. Wow. A train wreck. So was there a point, I mean, I know, I know my point. Was there a point that you said, I can't effing do this anymore? Yeah, it was, ex it was an exact point. And it's... It's on my blog, too, uh, at my website. You can actually catch my complete story. But I was on my final move, my final straw, um, and, and it was a rough summer um, at my heaviest. Uh, and I was, A couple summers back? Or? Yeah, it was 2017. Okay. And uh, I'm on the boardwalk with my daughter, and I decided to go on a ride with her, and I couldn't too fat to get on it feeling nice yeah and my daughter the disappointment in, in her eyes how old was she she's like 16 17 right, at right, that right. point you know and like we were about to have like a roller coaster moment right 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 and i blew it and i just you know it was just it was enough leading up to that but that was the moment that i said that's it no more now were you always like me and mike like like yeah we grew up together so we were always up and down i know i yeah. was oh, right yeah, me too, yeah. were you like that during no i was a Complete athlete, growing right up to okay. right, right through college, or, or coming out of uh, what I attempted a college. Um, when I when I went entered the workforce, that's when it went downhill. The workforce, so did restaurant, you, restaurant, restaurant, okay. and, and that, obviously that's why just you know. picking all day long, yep. and yeah, then man. you decide you you figured you didn't have a meal right. because you're tasting yep. all day long. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're tasting sauces, a no, little more. Yeah, and sometimes you forget to eat. You're yeah. so busy, you totally yeah. forget to eat. And then we binge eat at the and end then, of the night. You binge eat. But then I realized yep. actually where it was coming from, why I was eating like that, and um, and I realized honestly there is a separation between uh, mind and body, and my mind wanted to get out. Okay. But my body wouldn't let me. Right. The sugar addiction wouldn't. Dude, let it's me. it's it's a nightmare. It's it's not your fault. You actually have to Bullshit. break. No, I, I got caught. Call, it's like I caught like on that. It's like I know, drug. but even with the drug thing, it, it's no. partially your fault, though. I, you can't stop. Yeah, you can't it stop. is hard. If it's people hard. people could say all yeah. they want, I actually um, I actually had a procedure done to just sh stop. I had uh, you know I had a sleeve surgery, which used to be a, a, a second stage. Um, or a first stage of a major right. the gastric, gastric bypass. bypass right, 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 right. Yes. Which, you know, uh, I didn't want to change my plumbing. You know right. what I mean? Right. Um, but I knew I needed a brick wall 100 feet high yeah. and 100 feet thick yeah. for me to stop. And those three weeks, that's all it took. And I three got weeks the from assistance. The, from the time of the operation? Three weeks from, um, yes, because it, it my blood just stopped calling for it. Okay. When I say that, yeah, it's it's literally you're not you. It's it's your body saying, "Come on, come right. on, it's right. good, it's a, good, it's, it's a, big a sugar thing." Yeah, it's a, I I, re I call carbohydrates. I call sugar sugar now. I just use this. The word is sugar. Um, I feel less than when I eat it. Right. Um, and I didn't. It and took me stained? my whole life. It took me my whole life, and those three weeks it took me to to realize that nothing tastes as good as healthy no, feels yeah. Yeah, no nothing yeah, yeah that's great that's awesome yeah. so mike my, my yeah. question is is that i, I haven't had the sleeve right mm -hmm. did you have I a sleeve, sleeve. Yeah, have, the so you both had the sleeve yes. not, not it's there's a another one there's another one there's, there's a couple there's a sleeve lap there's band. a lap band. The lap, band. lap band so i have family so members right i have family members that did the lap band thing and right. with with not great results right great results initially 
and then it just it didn't go well after you know can I tell you that you have to work the system you have to know you have to work this you have to have enough you had to have enough right it's like a drug addict go, uh, finally kicking the habit after 30 times trying right he didn't have enough yet let him get worse yeah uh, you have to have enough I had enough it was that specific moment that I had and um, this is a tool. It was a tool I used because I wasn't strong enough. And, and people aren't strong when enough. When did you right? get it, Luke? When did you get the... Uh, January 8th in, uh, of, of 2018. 18, okay. And um, by... Year and a half now. Year yeah, half. so I'm down 130 pounds. Which is amazing. Um, sitting at 200. Uh, okay. But here's the thing. It's a, like I said, it was a tool that I used because I needed the help. People right. need help, yeah. right? Some people don't. So, Still need help The statistics on it are incredible. Yeah. yeah. The statistics, uh, if you work the system, y it'll work. And you keep saying the system. They tell you, like... No, when there's you go... a specifics. Okay. There's, it's, there's science behind it. If you like to drink uh, two glasses of wine or a, a glass of whiskey or this, you know, there's there's sugar there that right. you're going to bat with. And now you're taking away the protein that you're trying to eat on top of it. Now you're... You're full on sugar. Right. You've changed your blood. Your, your blood is not fit. You know your right. blood's not right. My uh, I had diabetes. Okay. Uh, my A one C was borderline like a, it was like a twelve, it was like eleven point something. Good. It was disgusting. My wife's a di for, uh, type one diabetic. Type two. Not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, th and that's the other thing. I go to the doctor and they're like, yeah, you got diabetes. You're, you're gonna take this and you're gonna take that and this. I'm like, I don't. I, I remember don't when you pills. called. I remember when you went to and you called me because you know I had diabetes all the yeah. long time and you, and you wanted to know like what. Uh, what is it? We had a long conversation yeah. on the phone about yeah. the diabetes. And my A1C was 17 at one point. Oh my Jesus. God. You know, really? and, that's, and that's I'm very incredible. happy today to say my A1C is six. Oh, which is, but I take a lot of medication. I shoot right. a lot of insulin. And I'll never get rid of it. Even yeah. when I lost a lot of weight, right. it still didn't go away. It, it got smaller, but I still. I, know, I, I, just, I, just, I just don't take pills. I'm, I'm, I'm anti big pharma. Um, I. I I hate I it. I don't though. take aspirin. I, hate it. I don't take, yeah. you know, if it doesn't grow and I can't benefit from right. it, then I don't want it. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. Um, See, that's a good message. That's a good message what Lou's saying because all of us struggle every single day in this industry. And if you are um, obviously in the industry watching this, you, you get everything that we're saying. I mean, we, we would eat just to survive the night. And eating that is a handful of mashed potatoes, a French fry in the basket, it's just to keep our energy up and going. Shrimp. But then the, the, the binge Lamb. eating was our biggest thing because yeah. at night, donut. Yeah. a lot of us in the industry um, would go out and have cocktails and do all sorts of things uh, mischievous to come down from the high. Yeah. And, and we would uh, then binge eat at 2 in the morning all the wrong things, pizza, sub, Chinese. We would just go crazy at, at 2 in the morning because our body, because of the sugar. Sugar yeah. wanted you know, it. You wanted it. It wanted it. And for me, I have, I'm kind of the opposite of the story. I mean, I, I did the surgery also. I, my peak was 400 pounds at one time. I got down to 200 pounds. And then I gained weight back because um, uh, I like to drink. I do. And there, there's an example. It, it does. It's not bad. And, it's and, just right. an and example. I, I do. And I enjoy a cocktail, maybe more than one or two, a couple. And um, I just like it. And it, it, it but exactly you what you're question? saying, though, is yeah. it put the weight back on. So, so that's what I want to talk about. That's why I didn't get it, yes. right? Because my whole thing was I'm a mental patient, right? And unless I fix it, it's not, no matter what I do to my body, unless I fix this, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna change, right? So I knew if I don't change my eating habits, I, whatever they do to me, I'll blow through it. I'll blow through this it. This was right? impossible for me to blow through it because I, here's, here's a key factor. I've never drank, I never will drink. I, you know, I had some, no alcohol. No zero. Okay, good for you, it's man. just um, it's awesome. I just learned real young that alcohol, for me, is a, is a bad thing. Okay. Um, Great. And and you know, there's spirits. It's funny the word spirits, where it comes from. The word spirits. If you ever look into it, the long and the short of it is, you you when you drink, and the reason why spirits this, spirits that, this right. is a spirit. It's because you leave yourself. Interesting. Yeah. yeah and yeah. you looking at yourself yeah, yeah. from outside. And, um, could be fun though, Lou. Just saying. Just put it out there. I'm sorry. Once in a while, <laughs> once in a while, it could be fun. Sometimes it's too fun. But here's the thing right, 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 about, right. about human nature: is that we don't know when to stop. No, we that's don't. our problem. And, and you know what? Going out exactly and having a great saying. restaurant right. experience right. is addicting. Yeah. Going out and going to a, a, a theme park right. is addicting. Yeah. You know, we do things in abundance. And Americans, yes, especially, yeah. what's important to us. Uh, is food. Yeah. 
and good time yeah. and freedom and 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 that you know where's that face so you know? is it the food is it the industry we're in is it the fact that that like did that exacerbate it the fact that we're in the all in the food industry i grew up in the restaurant literally grew up in the restaurant yeah. business that's kind of is like how, how mike got into it believe it or not he yeah. would come to my dad's restaurant so like you're saying we literally wouldn't eat all day and then we would literally gorge at the end of the night just but think about it you would eat all day too because you were you know, if you were my dad's restaurant, you didn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. I've always just was like, you know, you're right. You don't eat, but you eat. Um, yes, that's true. But you're, you know. you're not eating the right things. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're right. not grabbing a handful of carrots and celery no, going, no. oh, my God, this is going to get me through. This no. demi yeah. needs another half right. hour. This this so you're, this soup needs right. another. You're going right you for know. the fries. You're going for the mass beat. You're going for anything. Because it's that, there. Yeah. It's, and it's exactly, it's there. And for, so this business makes but, it but worse. But look at the people who can fast food. We're, we're not, there are healthy options for grabbing something on the go. They're grabbing all garbage stuff. Yeah, I've like, started in fast food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, where, where are there? At least, you know, me and Lou, we have, and we talked about this, I have beautiful fresh vegetables, beautiful fish, so does he. Right. Mm -hmm. So we have the option of actually eating yeah, really right. good stuff. Yeah. And I told him today, I said, you know, we always have the option in front of us. But am I going to go for the fresh vegetables or the salad yeah. or the nice grilled piece of tuna? No, I'm going yeah. for can I, can I the chicken you, fingers that are in the basket yeah, yeah, yeah. that for the kid chicken finger yeah. that I just went Can out. I tell you something? Two hours ago, I'm making lunch, and I put a fry in my mouth, and I'm like, what am I doing? And right. I threw it out. Right. Because I was at that point, I'm like, you know. It's subconscious. You didn't even realize you were doing well, that's it. It's funny because one of my guys watched it. me do it, and I went, you know. But I just said, I don't, I actually know what that is. I know what it tastes like. Right. I, I, I know it's wonderful. But it's good. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm there. I want to save it. The, I love the energy that I right. have. So I've actually did the math, and I'm just, I'm just over it. I, I might be over when I say this because he could understand. You think you went one side I might be of the over one? food, right? Meaning, I love it, right? But I've had more lamb than the average bear, right? I've had more shrimp than the average bear, right? You know, I've had the flavors that I could recall. I can actually recall. It's like weird. He could probably do it too. Like I could look at something and just like taste it without right. tasting it. Right. Um, and 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 I don't know how to. I'm just over the feeling of Thanksgiving dinner yeah. after every meal. And, I, I, you know, I don't know how you get. I, I understand I what do. you're saying. I don't know how to get there. And that's been for me. It's been a two year journey of, of because I, I didn't want to do that. That because I I know how I am. Right. Mm -hmm. So I go to the gym every day. I try to eat well. I'm down forty pounds, but it's a struggle, dude. Yeah. Like literally, uh, we, we got pound cake in today into the bakery because uh, we we're looking to um, uh, sell slices, right? Mm. And like, I didn't even think about it. Cracked it open. Yeah. I mean, not only just like a little piece, like the yeah. whole effing thing right yeah. in my mouth. And I'm like, <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. And like, I, it, the, the sugar almost doesn't allow you to, like you said, it doesn't allow you to stop. And I know I have an fault. eating disorder because I've, I've done everything. I've done Jenny Craig. I, if there is a diet plan, I've done it, including they, overeaters. They and all have something in common. All those diet plans. And it's lowering the glycemic index. Right. Low carbs. Yeah. You right. call it what you want. People right. will, will hate you for it. Right. You lower your but glycemic. But I own a bakery, so it's a, pr yeah. I mean. You lower your glycemic <laughs> index. It's a math equation. Yeah. It's simple. It's but it's it, it's simple, but it's not easy. Yeah, I know. It's easy yeah. on well, paper. You know, my, my doctor told me before I got my surgery, he goes, you know what? You're going to have the hardest time with this because of what you do for a living mm -hmm. than, than the average nine to five person. Mm -hmm. He goes, because you're always constantly around. Yeah, right. Mercedes you're, drivers or right, delivery right. guys or whatever, right. they're, not, they're not around sandwiches right, all day. Right. You're, you're around it 24 yeah. hours yes. a day, no yeah. matter what, because it's your life. And I can't escape it. There's no more. Right. There, I can't get there's away from it. There's food all over. Everywhere. Yeah. And there's yeah. every kinds of food. There's yeah. everything at my fingertips. Right. He goes, you are going to have the heart. And he, he was. He was correct. So for See, you. thing that ruined it for me, though, was the booze, the liquor. And, well, that's and I, what I want to ask. And I, I'm smart enough to realize that. And I get it. It's it just that, um, you know, again. So you're attributing is, the weight gain to absolutely, alcohol. Absolutely. 100%. Because alcohol you makes you eat again or the calories of the alcohol? Both. The calories plus the protein. Plus the sugar. Now the math is raw off. You're now exerting less than you're intaking, and your yes. your your glycemic index is 
and it's easier oh. to go down. I didn't drink for eight months after my surgery. Right. Eight months straight. And no, that's I when you alcohol. lost the most. I drank, absolutely, I lost the most. I was in the best shape. I think I a glass order. of wine is you know, 70 calories, 80 calories, I don't know, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. And, you know, I think like a mixed drink is, you know. You see, for me, I was, uh, the thing, what I said. See, I wouldn't earlier, have thought that. See, I'm, I'm going on, th- drink, I'm right? going on I three years think. of after I had it. So the thing right. that, that well, I was testing was quite even carbonation. Because the car, you're, you're, mm. what they yeah, do you is they make, that. You they make your stomach right. small, and the carbonation will actually blow it up again, which you can hold more food and more, and that's how you gain the weight. Uh. So for like two years straight, I didn't drink anything carbonated, and you know beer is carbonated, so I drank nitrous beer, which is Guinness, Bonington, okay. you know. So I was already figuring out a way, <laughs> and, <laughs> and before I got into the beer, I just was strictly doing bourbon and whiskey, and I have that's why I have a 240 bottle collection in my house of right, bourbon right, right. because yeah, 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 it's pretty, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, pretty a, stupid. You've never been there with Al? No, yeah, yeah. yeah. I never got an invite. Yeah, yeah, it's, okay. a, it's a freak. It, it's, it's a whole so, freak. Thing. So you know, Sorry. I heard there's like a rock band there. Yeah, there's yeah. There's all oh, there's there's a whole right. show. Fire yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe we'll one day let, yeah. one let day everybody in on it. No, one always day. Day. you always welcome. You kidding me? Um, it's the whole thing. You better bro. bring a sleeping bag though if you're coming over. <laughs> we'll change that drinking program. So I didn't know <laughs> that. So so that's yeah, so, really where yeah, it went. So bad. and I and I because what happened was I um, stopped drinking. Then all right, let me let me try one drink. And then I have a drink. So one drink whacked me out of my mind. And I was like, oh my god. And then it just, and you know, I, my restaurant has liquor, so we have, um, booze. I'm constantly going to wine tastings, liquor, like I'm going tomorrow to Borgata for a, a liquor tasting. I'm constantly being invited to all these tastings, a bourbon tasting, a whiskey t- a tequila night. To but you new- know, that's an excuse though, right? It, in the same sense it, that, that Lou, in the same sense, and, and listen, we're friends here, right? So, and you're one of my best friends. So the, the fact that oh, absolutely, a, yeah. but you know what, for me, like to, to sell a product in my restaurant, I want to taste it and make sure it's the right product, the right fit. Unfortunately, the thing. but unfortunately I'm not tasting it. Right. I'm because drinking, we don't, like we don't give, have the ability to stop, but they give you a little taste. I'm like, come on, <laughs> yeah, fill yeah, it up. Yeah, I'm yeah, buying yeah, the yeah, bottle. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah, like the whole pound. And next thing you know, yeah. I bought three bottles for my house. Right. Not for the restaurant though. Right. That's the addiction. Right. And another episode we're doing, which is going to, is about vices in this business, mm. because drugs, the the, the gambling, devil, dude. You know everything. The, Women. The, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The adult yeah. industry is yeah. very prevalent. I mean, in our this industry. is like the best yeah. time ever. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I mean, it's the rock. Listen, well, it's listen. the rock star life without being a rock star, right? Because we, me and Mike talked about this. There is a rush. And again, I'm not. I, I got out of the restaurant business years ago. I couldn't. You know, I knew it was. It's not good. It wasn't good for me. So I got out. But that business, it's it's all and then nothing, right? See, so you go on stage right, and right. then you come off, and it's like, how do you wind down from I, that? I think there, there's a, the microcosm. What you just said is so funny. The fact that it's all or nothing, yeah. right? And if we just took a different approach, even with it was with the the whiskey or the whether the wine or the Big Mac or right. the right. or the cake donut. or the yeah. or the donut or the chocolate, it, life is about enjoyment. Yeah, but American life is about opulence. Let's jump right. in. Let's yeah, have it. Let's no, you know, every, gotta, everything or nothing. There, there's there's Balance. penalties. There's penalties for that. And and I'm you know I learned the hard way. Uh, I I you know I. I Definitely uh, see the benefits uh, of how I changed my life physically, mm-hmm. mentally. Uh, my poor wife. I mean, she's yeah, you know, dude. I feel, Our wife, I feel like I'm 18 it. again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love it. Uh, uh, boom. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, they don't see it that way yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, no. But, <laughs> but listen, you, know, you are an inspiration though, and that's yeah, why we no want doubt. to have you on because you no you are inspiring. You're going to inspire a whole bunch of people because we're going to hopefully get a, a lot of views on this. Where you're going to inspire a new group. I mean, of people I'm not. Say, hey, man, uh, I don't. I'm not vanilla. Yeah, no, I'm not vanilla. I I actually, you know. I'm, I live by, you know, if not, I like natural, you know what I mean? Right. I, I you know, I'm not, I, I know people have anxieties and they have vices and what, but if it's not natural. Right. So I'm not, I'm not down So what's it. a typical day? Tell me a typical day from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Like what, just your eating habits and what you do, you, do you make sure you have a breakfast? Do you make sure you have a lunch? Yeah, because you know this what? is what I, I talked about Mike about. I always have on hand um, specifically the protein bars that are very like low in um, um, sugar and blood sugar, car- carbohydrates okay. and, and, and uh, any they're about particular 12. I'd, yeah, I'd be I, interested. I mean, Atkins makes a great bar because okay. their focus is to have very low sugar. But there's many on the market right. that you could still benefit from. I but I enjoy 
the brand. I am a chocolate freak, so they have yeah, 30 different chocolates, nougat. I feel like I'm eating Snickers sometimes. The Atkins you know I mean? Yeah, yeah. I've, okay. You know, I have Oreos. I, it's all that stuff. never went so away. So you do, you do eat? Not Oreos. Like, Oreos. Okay. The Atkins Oreos. The flavor. You know, I mean? the fl- you know that. Right. I still have that. Right. Uh, I'm not totally without. Right. Um, but then, you know, it's, it's. You know, like this morning, I have a little chicken ranch. Um, okay. So we, I love, we love our. Do you eggs. really? Yeah. At your have, house? Yeah, we That's have. Nice. We have yeah. beautiful birds. Awesome. Fresh uh, eggs. Beautiful I mean, birds. Uh, I have nine food. birds, and they're and they hand me eggs every day. Um, That's outstanding. Egg. Okay. Um, and so we're a big egg family. Um, so that is something I'll do two or three a day. Okay. Early, generally. A couple hours later, not. Not um, you know, four hours, five hours, just like an hour and a half, two hours, I'll have a little power bar or a okay. snack. Maybe a, little, a more protein uh, in the middle of the day. I definitely love what my time peanut butter. Do you do lunches? Do you come here? You take I care eat your small okay. all day long. I no, I'm eat. saying because I want to understand your pattern. So what time do you come to the restaurant to do lunches? Do you have your suit? Oh, you know, I'm here at 7, 30, 8 o'clock. In the morning? Uh, in the morning. I oh. get up in the, with the uh, my girls in the morning. Oh, because you're doing the breakfast next door. Yeah. Well, okay. You know, okay. I'm generally not, today I cooked, um, but um, you know, so I you're, like you're on the line early, early yeah. and you're doing prep oh, early. I'm up early because okay. I have too much I mean, I'm energy, there's right. energy, and uh, there's, you know, I get my orders real early because okay. uh, who likes getting their orders when they're busy? Right. Uh, so my orders come in and uh, we get a lot of business handled early in the day so the day can flow nicely. Okay. Um, so eggs, energy bar. Yeah, and then um, you know, not much time later, I mean, I'm putting more protein in my mouth. I'm definitely chicken? not grabbing. Yeah, it'll be a four ounces of chicken. It'll okay. be some cheese all day. I eat cheese. Um, I'll still have two or three crackers. It's okay. not like no carbs. Right, uh, right, right. But it's you know, it's not a sleeve anymore. Of mm. right, <laughs> you know, right. I eat a sleeve. Control, of, right, there's control. Whether mm-hmm. it's whether it's whiskey or whatever. It's interesting. You you didn't just say chicken. You said four ounces of chicken. So are you that conscious of what you're eating that you make sure it's four ounces yeah, of chicken? Yeah, because I want to be able to eat an hour later. Interesting. And not be so. So you're that conscious of I don't of want it. Thanksgiving feeling every every day. And yeah. that's the way I used to eat every meal. Yeah. Every meal. Well, or really nothing. Like, we, that's what we talk about. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing, yeah. 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 I mean, exactly. Oh, my God. I'm yeah. never eating again. Yeah. And yeah. then... Yep. And then two hours later, you're getting the ice cream because your your blood sugar needed more sugar. It's so, but what we talked about, it's so hard. And, and that's amazing that you do that because, listen, we I literally, I will, it'll be, I wake up at four, right? Yeah. I'm in the gym by five. So after I get out, and that's my solitude. Like, I love it. Mm-hmm. Like, I absolutely love it. I'm out of the gym by 6.30, quarter to seven. Once that happens, my day is an absolute effing whirlwind. It just is. Yeah. What customer call? Who screwed this up? Yeah. Who screwed? You know. So yeah. it's amazing that you're that conscious of it. Because listen, I know you're no different here. Mm-hmm. You know what oven broke down? What uh, what server did, is calling out? I, I can't. It's you know, something, yeah. it's always something, oh, right? Yeah. yeah so that's the to have the conscious of mind to say, I gotta eat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really where we go bad. It's where I go bad. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't eat. Mm-hmm. My wife's like, how do you? And because she's diabetic. And she needs to eat. Mm-hmm. And I forget. Like, I literally will go eight to ten hours and have nothing. So after lunch, so let's say you have your chicken and stuff after lunch. I when, repeat that same cycle for another five, four hours, five hours. Every couple hours. Another you just, protein bar. Right. Before I sat down with you, I had uh, about three, four ounces of chicken and uh, two, three spoonfuls of rice because um, I didn't know when I was going to eat next. Right. And, you know, I would have had, used to have, would have had you know probably a pound of chicken right and, and you know a, yeah a quarter of rice then that i'd save for later right you know what I mean? right so you are literally eating every two two and a half three hours at most yeah and then you know i sit down with my family and, and i'll eat right but i ate while i was cooking right I'm eating now and then when i'm cleaning up which my wife says i don't think i clean uh <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, while I'm cleaning up, I I've eaten too. Right. You know what I mean. Right. Right. So right. it's like. Yeah. It's but there's just, no doubt that this industry makes it harder. Oh. Right. Sure. It, I mean, that's that's. that's the I whole had to point. have a breaking point. Right. I actually hit bottom. Yeah. I hit yeah. bottom. Yeah. Because the reason being is that is because we don't live a normal lifestyle. We do not. Everybody else, we don't live the nine to five. Right. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Honey, I'm home for five. Let's have a nice Who dinner. Who wants with that? Me. But I'm just yeah. saying that's that's yeah. us because we're programmed. Yeah, yeah. 
not to at five we're just getting started like right. our shift is just getting we're just getting going at yeah. five let alone yeah. coming home um we had a two we had a three you know all this other stuff but so we don't live a normal lifestyle our lifestyle is not normal or conducive to the regular normal world right but he That's was, what he was it, a rock you know. star after my shifts always at the end of no matter where i worked since i was 13 i'd go home right away i never went out Right. My days off were my days off, but I never like there was never a shift drink after. Right. There was never a bar after with mm. the group of the guys. It's not that I went. Nobody likes me. It's but just let me ask I, you a question. Not, <laughs> so were you like me? Because I, listen, I, I party. But did about, you eat? Did you was eating your thing after or no? Because that's mine. I mean, mine was go eating, going home, and I was a sandwich guy. Man, a good sandwich after it all. Mm. Right. Or I'd hit McDonald's. I used to do the circuit sometimes. <laughs> I hit McDonald's. How many times on the way home? And then did you do Burger King after that? And then White Castle? Uh, no, that oh, wasn't Jesus that bad. You do Route 37. I no, literally I have hit 30, four, well, all four of them. 37 is McDonald's. You can live there. Oh, you can actually die. I, 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 I live off of that. <laughs> it's a, it's I live on Fisher Bowl. Oh my God! Right no, but I, I did. I admitted that uh, after my surgery to my family that I used. I did that once or twice. And you know, you freaking mess. I was a mess. Yeah. But you know what? It was easy, it was fast, and it was so warm and comforting. And right. all the things that all the bad things in life are, if it's too much. Yeah. You can enjoy a Big Mac if you didn't do it like me. Right. You know, and that was have 10 a week. What I think right. is amazing is the fact that you lost so much. And like you said, you, you don't go to the gym. You don't work out. Right? I mean, obviously, this is listen, this work is, is strenuous, right? Mm -hmm. You're on your feet all day long. You're going back and forth. But it's, it's I do 10 miles within two square Well, the, the stress level, right. too, is beyond right. everybody's normal comprehension of right. anything normal in the world. Yeah. In the middle of service Saturday night at 7 o'clock, you're, you're just peaked out, man. That's a whole other uh, you know, episode I'd like to talk to you about how stress. you have no idea what's yeah, going no. on in your complaints. Correct. Let me tell you something. <laughs> all right, let's not go there. All right, well, he'll, he'll start going off. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah you have any <laughs> idea what it takes. Yeah. Well, that's right. No one has any idea what right. it takes to put this, this show on. The social media yeah. has really, and I got to be honest, if I was still in the restaurant business, God bless you two, I would kill people. Mm -hmm. Like, listen, I get we get reviews. Thank God they're all great. But it's mm -hmm. not the same as a restaurant. Like, I get reviews from you guys. Mm -hmm. Like, I get reviews from restaurant guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it, John. You're doing a great job. Because they're yeah. in the industry. When you have to get reviewed every single day from Sally or Joe, who oh, had yeah, a bad well, day yeah. and didn't enjoy Everybody's the, the cold feet. You know, it's yeah. a, it's a big challenge. I mean, that is a whole nother episode about the social media I thing. I understand which, murder. <laughs> but here's well, a question. if you haven't seen it, me and Lou did a thing for Asbury Park Press uh, where chefs yell back. Oh, he showed me that. They yell yeah, back yeah, yeah, yeah. for the Yelp reviews. Yeah. And if you haven't seen it, I will. I'll link that up. Yeah, I'll link, link that, that up, up on this because hashtag, that is hashtag Yelpers lives don't matter. Oh man, it is the best <laughs> ever. That no, yeah. Lou is, is brutal, oh. brutal, and and he he made the whole. Th I, I think yeah. he made the you whole. You were thing. hilarious. No, it's good though. Uh, no, because it, you know I I was okay in it, but you were yeah, like sensational because apart. you really, really. And even talking uh, to Sarah, who's a, who's a friend of mine, and, and she's like. Dude, we had a bleep loop. We wanted to bleep loop. <laughs> I'm like, I knew it. You light him up, and it's just going to go. Look, look, it's going to go. We're not infallible, right? <laughs> no. We're not. And, uh, you know, we're not weathermen either. We can't be right 30% of the time. We have to be right 99% yes. of the time. Yeah. Right. And if we make a mistake, let me own up to it. Yeah. Tell me. I will fix it. I'm not here to make you angry. Right. I'm here I'm here to make people happy. I, I yep. chose to not go to an office. I chose to make people happy with food. Yep. You know what I mean? And if we sh miss the boat and then you go right online because you're a keyboard, you know, you know you're, you're, now, you're now a keyboard. Uh, yeah, I'm sure quarterback. All right, we're getting off, we're getting off track. Getting off, so getting off. Here's, the, here's my question, right? Because people are going to watch this um, and they're gonna, the question is how do they fix it? How, how it, it, food industry, no food industry, we all battle with it. My wife battle with it. I battle with, battles with it. How do we fix it? For me, it's the gym. I still have not fixed my eating habits. I haven't. I think it doesn't come down to gym. It doesn't come down to gym. Well, it for me, it, 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 it if I didn't go habits. to the gym, I would literally be 400 right. pounds. Well, it comes down to eating habits. Yeah. It, it really yeah. does. It comes down to what goes in here. That's, that's well, it's the reprogramming of your mind. You right. really have to I was, think. I'm reprogrammed. You know it's completely, yeah. he reprogrammed himself. Right. But it seems like every time I see you, though, you're getting better and better. You're getting leaner and meaner. You're looking better. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like well, every, he's really conscious of it. Yeah, I'm but very, no, but every time, like, I see, because I've watched, I've seen Lou at 
this point, and right. I've seen Lou at this point. Right. I've seen the gamut of Lou. Right. Yeah. And like this, is the best obviously I've ever seen in your yeah. life. Yeah, no, um, I feel but th- your really attitude noticed. though is better. Like your your just the presence is better. Like I said, it's you're very inspirational. That's why we wanted to put you on this because hopefully, even if it's that one kid or that one guy, yeah. it, that Listen, can change I, I because you is awesome. Contacting dude. me, messaging Seriously. me, and asking me, you know, should I or could I or would I? Right. If I could tell anybody this, if if you had the opportunity to take the route I took, I would never. I was worried. I called you. I, was I remember, yeah. I would, yeah, I would do it, it a million times over because it, I needed to stop. How is anyone going to do it? It doesn't have the, the, the benefits. That, I mean, look, I met the criteria. I was morbidly obese. Right. I was going to yeah. die. Right. Okay. You qualified. Uh, I qualified. Yeah. To, right. You know, and, and that's Correct. what scared me uh, into it. Um, but the thing is, if you can get those, that, that period and you can just – you got to have your moment where you just had enough. But you have the right mindset. You you said you had the, the qualities, and that's why they accepted you. My issue with the whole thing is anybody can get qualified now, truly. I know people 20 pounds overweight that they'll say, yes, I'll give you, I'll do the procedure. The problem with that is it gets more mainstream is you, you, you had an epiphany. Yeah. You had a point that said, I had enough. If you don't get to that point and you have the surgery, it... it you can smile and my, you know, you, you very candidly said you're having that issue, right? Uh, and I know Absolutely. I would have that Absolutely. issue. So yep. the problem is, and, and the one thing if we take yep. away anything is you are, so, I'm super, like you are so conscious of it. Just the fact that you said four ounces of chicken, I'm like, yeah. he's really into it. See, the problem with the surgery is they tell you right out of the box. It's not, it's not a, um, a miracle. It doesn't, it doesn't, you have to work at it. Yeah. It'll help you. It, like you said, it was the starter to right. get him to do stuff. For, yeah, for but you still have to maintain it and work on can it. I, and can if I you give it to you real simply? Yeah. And I want to say, did you ever see online or through, you know, browsing online, you ever see that seven-year-old that can surf, like, unbelievably? Yeah. Or sure. that, or that four-year-old that can right. play yeah, yeah, drums, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's you know, awesome. or that singer who's thirteen right. and blow you away. Right, it didn't just happen. Right, they worked at it. Right, that seven-year-old was doing it at five because his dad was. No, doing you're it. right. And in his head, right. in yep. his head, he saw his dad do it. He's like, I'm going to be that. Yeah, and right. two years later, Tiger Woods, years, right? Tiger, Tiger Woods. Woods. I mean, so perfect if, example. If, if you put that mental reprogramming in your imprint, I had right. an epiphany. I had that moment. Right, and I said, that's it. I saw, I see, I saw my skinnier self, my right. healthier self, right. and I'm not there yet. I right. still got another 20 pounds to go because now I want to get into body sculpting. Like I want to get into where I see a total antithesis of what I was. It's right. amazing. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I actually my hernia surgery, and I'm now I'm starting to get back into the gym because I'm physically okay. I can right. I can tie my shoes and I'm holding my breath. Dude, you know what I mean? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I time Some people like, what do you see talking about? And then, you know, I, I mean, I've, I've lived that. Yeah. And no, you, you would, I asked you if you were um, overweight when you were young. Um, me and we grew up overweight, but yeah, I, I was in sports right. a lot. Right. But I was in sports that you needed to be big, right? So I was a defensive right. end. I was a, I was an offensive right. tackle. I needed to be a big guy, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I wrestled at heavyweights. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I yeah. was in sports a lot, but I was just, I was always bigger. So, and the yo-yo, I mean, I, I've been down as, as much as... You were also tall than everybody in school, though. You had a height. Right. We all well, didn't shoot up tall. What'd you eat? But you ate a lot of pasta. Dude. But you ate a lot of bread. We owned a restaurant. Yeah. Italian, 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 Northern Italian, Italian restaurant. Italian ever. I can remember, like, serious, stupid, I can remember being good. downstairs in our walk-in box, right? My father would make... His dad made everything in Casata. It, it was cannoli filling, but we called it casata, right? Mm-hmm. It was casata uh, filling. And I can remember, and this is going to be disgusting, so I apologize in advance. Like, really, ah, you know, I mean, because I need, you know, I, he was going to yell. He's like, Giovanni, where are you? And I'd have to run upstairs. So I, we didn't eat. It's in the middle of service, right? And I'm like, Wah! you know, and that's what we did. That's what I did. Yeah, no. and, and, and Do that ten times a day. Yeah. Plus, plus, I mean, and then eating. And then, right, right, you know, right. So. You know, like I mean, I, I got it because I just party too hard. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, right. I just did. Right. I hit it way you too hard. You really attributed it all to drinking. I yeah, I hit it harder than everybody else, and I was in the playing music in the bands and, right. and doing that whole thing yeah. with music and, right. and and just that whole lifestyle, and then eating at two in the morning, yeah. the wrong food, going to sleep, yeah. getting up at six, being at the restaurant at nine to open up and prep for lunch. Right. I mean, that was the whole life, and we just did a fish lifestyle seven days yeah. a week, yeah. year round, of year after year after year. Well, I remember and, you coming home, was it from Colorado or for Arizona? And I didn't even recognize you. You drove up to my house. You're like, hey, dude. I'm like, 
Hey. Well, that's when I was in Arizona when I started working out, and because, you were like a hundred and something yeah, pounds. I mean, you were like, like one fifty. Yeah. yeah. Because what happens out there? Um, I had no money. I was broke. I got paid four dollars an hour. I was working the best restaurant in Arizona. They only paid four dollars an hour. If they didn't like it, they had eighty people. Um, that would go. We got eighty people behind you, so no big deal. They'll do it for free. I was like, no, I'll work, but I literally didn't. I had a quarter a week to my name. So what I do, I mountain climbed it. They have all free parks where you oh, can you actually said climb that. mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I climbed two and a half miles up every single day. I right. dig in with the rocks, with the resin bag, and I right. would just be climbing mountains all day. And all I did was work out. I had long yeah. hair, Lou. I had long hair. I was tan, yeah. ripped up, and you weren't. You weren't. I wasn't eating because I had right. no money. Were, right. I didn't have a dime to buy. No, you know, right. you know, my dinner was some nights a can of Chipotle peppers that I stole from the restaurant. That yeah. was my dinner. Yeah. A can of Chipotle peppers. Yeah. That's it. That's all I ate for the whole day. Did you have money for toilet paper? No, because that was... I, I stole everything from the restaurant. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did. <laughs> and, and you know what? Too, I remember I found change one time. They had a um, Burger King out there. They had 99 cent Whoppers, and this is like 1993 or whatever. <laughs> And I saved up the money by a 99 cent Whopper. And that was like the ultimate treat at the end of right. the week to get a Whopper was like, Crazy. Ah. Right, right. and I savored every bite like yeah. a wild animal because that's the only meal I was going to have for all day. That's nuts. But I tell you how ripped I was. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't recognize I was, it. Yeah. It was and scary. And how lean in me. And, yeah. and Did you, I, I mean, you, know, you know, you've been there and you've been And I couldn't, the reason I didn't drink it because I couldn't afford to drink it. I couldn't afford to right. even buy a Pabst Blue Ribbon. Give me all your money. Because I had no, I hadn't have a dime. Give me all your so money. So you might, so pretty I, much. Yeah. You know, friend to friend, you might want to rethink the drinking thing a little bit. Yeah, no, I have to. Okay. I, I need, if you did the math uh, all week and then you said to yourself. The, the problem week, is I enjoy it too much. Yeah. And am I addicted to like, it? I enjoy yes. sugar. He enjoyed. No, I know, but you know, listen, I mean, I, I'm an addict. You've got to come to that point. The problem is that we're all addicts of something. Yeah. And that's the industry. And the industry made us that I don't care what anybody the industry made me an addict um, there's, there's some science I didn't, behind why we're yeah but if I didn't uh, think I, I got think, into I this industry I have agree with that I, I think if well listen it would have happened no matter what because I probably went into the rock business yeah. world and right. I really would have been an addict there I probably would have been more <laughs> right. Molly Crewish and dead right you know with a big bowl of cocaine <laughs> next to me I said but you know wow I didn't go down that road <laughs> don't I be said, a crack <laughs> addict I said don't be a crack <laughs> addict I, you know, I still like the rock me, and I still play it into the lights right. and everything, but I didn't, I, I never went Molly Crew way. Right. But, um. Yeah, but I you got to revisit that, though. Yeah, you, you know what, it, it, it's just. That's something you got to, It's something I drag, really, really slay, enjoy. Dude. So I, I need to, like, you know, get. It's just, you, you can enjoy it. You know. but like, like me, you can go, we, we should do it three, four times a year where you let down that loose. You know what I mean? Not three, four times a week. And that is the same thing with the sandwich, whether it's the bread or it's the right. donut. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know it's I mean? limiting yeah. your... You yeah. talk about absolutely. alcohol. I, I see it as, as a Twinkie or a, a, yes. literally I see yes. it as a Oreos in the closet. Yes. Like you're see, I don't eat any of that stuff. I don't eat any yeah. of that. Yeah, but I, don't eat not, that I get what you're same saying. Thing. It's the same exact, thing. Thing. That's the addiction. We're just yeah. addicted to two different things, and yeah. that's the yeah. problem. And now lose addicted to four ounce pieces of chicken right. and eat... Well, I'm addicted to feeling better. And it's working, But that's hilarious because... Not hilarious, but it's the truth. So we in this industry get addicted to something we have to be all or nothing yeah. and you're you're i don't you're, drink coffee i don't smoke but cigarettes you're, but you're addicted to the feeling of being healthy feeling good feeling and that's good. a great thing to be addicted yeah. Yeah. to right mm -hmm. and i have seen that often i've seen people that have lost a lot of weight and they become trainers because they enjoy the fact I, that I had they, sleep at me. I couldn't sleep. I yeah, couldn't sleep. I, I went and get yeah, good yeah. sleep. Yeah. True. I, 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 I actually I'm now. Machine. This is what happens. I put. I close my eyes. I wake up at seven a.m., right. six a.m., five right. a.m. It's early. It's not Beautiful. eleven. Right. Yeah. I'm a, right. No, tired I'm, even but after. I'm an early person. I'm up at five thirty. Five. Yeah, he's always. But I would used to wake up and be so lethargic. Right. I was tired. When I wake up, you'd be like tired. Yeah. The, yeah, the first hour, yeah. you know. Yeah. So if we take anything away from this, right? I mean, obviously, not only in the food industry, but in Americans, right? We gorge on things, and this industry makes it that much harder. So, I, I really, what I take away from this conversation with Lou is, you are super focused on what goes in your mouth every day. Correct. Right? And I'm, I'm not. So, like, even though, like, I think about it after. Like, you, you made that thing, like. You ate, and then you're like, oh, it's horrible. That's what I do. Like, I'm not going to do it, not going to do it. This, and I told Mike, last night, the night before, I go home, depending on what time. It's not as late anymore because I wake up so early. But I'll go home, and I walk through the door. I'm not going to go to the refrigerator. I'm not going to go to the refrigerator. I'm going to go right upstairs. I'm like, okay, well, i got to walk into the kitchen to put my keys down. And then I'm like, okay. See I'm the just lights gonna, working. I'm just going <laughs> to I'm just gonna open the refrigerator <laughs> and see what's in there. My wife's leftovers. There'll be a right, sandwich. Right, okay, right. I'll just take a bite. <laughs> Never. Three minutes later, the whole refrigerator <laughs> is ravaged. 
<laughs> like, how does that happen? It's, hey, he's covered head to toe. And I'm like, oh. Sauce. And then I, I, I meander upstairs. My Yo. fat ass gets Yo. in the bed. I'm like, I'm never doing that again until the next night. And I'm like, well, I'm going to get up in three hours and go to the gym. That's my solace. Right, and that's how I'm. I'm that's the part. I've lost forty pounds, yeah. but I'm at a I'm yeah, at a point because of what I eat, yeah. and because of my psyche. I literally would be two hundred and forty yeah. pounds. I work out so much and enjoy it so much that if I got my eating under control, I would be two twenty six one. So your ideal weight is two twenty. Two twenty. Right in my head, it's two forty. But yeah, here's the thing, and this is the craziest thing I'll say: when you want to be. 220? There's no you doubt. You will be 220. Lou, there is no doubt. I when agree. You, yeah. When you want to be. Right. Yep. It's, you are 100, 1,000%. You you well, the thing right. I got out of this is that anybody can do it. Yeah. So right. Anybody can do it. So if you think that you can't do it, yeah. I mean, Lou is the, the perfect example yeah, of it right yeah, here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody yeah. can do it. And Don't look at us. No. Look, look at him. Lou. <laughs> I want to be, I was, I was 330, and I'm like, man, I miss surfing. Right. And I can't wait to go surfing. Right, 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 right. You know, That's awesome. I, That's I awesome. Just, that and you'll awesome. kill it. And yeah. you'll yeah. Kill it. have a good time doing it. Yeah, and yeah. you know what? It's awesome. Yeah. So, um, all right. That's uh, all of us That's for a uh, million dollars. I'd like to thank our uh, great, great host for today, Lou Smith from Blenna Manasquan. Tell them how to get here, Lou. Give them all the plugs. I'm at 152 Main Street, Manasquan. we got Restaurant Week coming up uh, the first half of uh, April. So, we hope to see you there. got a lot of great stuff, as Mike, I'm sure. We also have the Peach Pit next door, the which Peach I did Pit, not know. Peach Pit Cafe. We're open six days a week. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That right here awesome. in Mansquan, we have Al Fresco Dining. Yep. And catch me at uh, my place. YouTube channel, Chef Lou Smith. I got a, a bunch of uh, I'll videos. I'll make sure all those links are in yeah. there. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, Four Chicks Ranch and uh, Chef Lou Smith, all that good stuff. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's great, too? You guys know me. I've eaten here before. It's absolutely spectacular. Probably the best in Monmouth County. Um, not only saying it because he's sitting next to me. He's my friend. But... I, I would tell him if it sucked, yeah. you know, because I'm just an honest it guy. Yeah. And uh, no, I heard nothing but great things. It's awesome, here. man. Yeah. I mean, you got to come. If you haven't been here, you get here, please. And you will we'll be pleasantly, pleasantly uh, surprised how good it really is. And that's so, a, and, and that's a wrap. Right? But thanks, Lou. Thanks for uh, having appreciate us. Appreciate it. As always, Take brother. Care, we appreciate we'll see you on the next one. So thanks a lot, guys. Cool. I'm ready. I'm and, ready. and be brutally yeah. honest, we, we, we don't hold anything back. We sure. And it's going to run. Do I have to keep my pants on? Mm. I don't know about and that. It might get weird. Here we go. Okay. You ready? Yeah, sure. <laughs>